The fishing village of Ryoishi is no stranger to tsunamis. One hundred years ago, a wave destroyed the town and is believed to have killed 90% of its residents. So they built a wall to make sure the sea would never again swallow their homes and families. The villagers had complete faith in this tsunami wall. It had recently been made even higher. It's currently 9.3 metres, that's around 30 feet, and they believed it would stop any tsunami, but it didn't. Kawasaki Takeshi used to live in the hills, but he moved to the coast after the wall was built. He says it made him feel safe. He breaks down when he remembers the wave coming over the wall as he ran to the hills with his wife. He tells me this isn't a bad place and tsunamis don't happen that often, but after seeing the great wave, my wife has decided we should not be here. Takeshi also lost his boat and his livelihood, fishing for abalone and sea urchin. Fishing was one of the biggest employees in the Wati prefecture. 96% of the boats have been destroyed. He ties up any fishing gear he can find, just in case. But at the age of 77, it's doubtful he'll build up a business again. More than 40 people are dead or missing here. The grim search for bodies is not over. As survivors move away, it's hard to know if this village, completely rebuilt after one tsunami, can find the strength to start again. Sifting through the debris of their lives, his neighbour finds a clock. It stopped at 3.22. The exact moment his life changed and countless others ended. Paula Hancock's CNN, Ryoishi, Japan.